Speaking of Mario, is he playing – yeah. Some of the position he played last year. He is. Yeah. He is doing more of that. You know, obviously the he had the restriction a little bit on the shoulder. But now that that's been you know, you know obviously a lot better than what it was. Um, he can now raise his arm. It, it was tough for the kid. When you have a harness, you can't raise your arm. It's hard to get out there and catch the balls. You know, so uh, we had to move another guy out there, which obviously was Emory. But uh, this week he's been out there in practice, and you know he took the harness and the whole deal off. So he looks healed, look better, and uh, you know. Obviously, you got to take care of the football, you know. But so, he so played has, he, well. has he played there more than tailback in practice? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, you, when you watch it, he starts there, but he may motion out, or you know, may start out and motion back into the backfield. So, just some different things puts a little strain on the defense because they don't know where he's going to line up. Did you know, that so harness have? Did that impact him? Turn, the turn, oh, you think? I think so. The biggest impact was old boy hitting him in the mouth. Now that number seventeen, <laughs> that that probably was the biggest impact. But with that arm not being able to tuck the football, that does affect you. You know, we want two hands. Coach Luper teaches a free hand, and he teaches to everybody on the football team. So if the receivers aren't fumbling and the quarterback's not fumbling, you know, he's telling those running backs the same thing he's telling our guys because he's in charge of ball security uh, at every position, and he teaches it. And makes a we call it a winning edge where he goes over that whole thing with linemen. Anybody that might have a chance to even pick up a fumble, he goes over that with him. So um, it's been emphasized what we call the free hand. If this and that's obviously the one that doesn't have the ball in to cover it up, tuck it, and then finish it. Around. And he can't really so do that, or couldn't. It's really hard do to do that because of the, the harness. He's working everywhere, just like he always does. You know, he's he always has a little role out on the perimeter for us and then at tailback. You know, it's just a matter of health for him. Get get him back 100% so he can get some confidence back, and you know, hopefully we can we can get that get him in the game this week and get him going and get him in the flow, and so uh, he can um, he can get some of his confidence back, and as well as we can get it back in him. You know, you'd like for a senior to be able to handle the responsibilities uh, of punting. You know, since he is a senior, he has played in games. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, we just we just need we, we need more productivity from that position, obviously, and to go from here forward. And and I've been pleased with you know, there's been some things that you know that are unwritten that she's done a great job at right now, which is you know getting rid of that last ball when they had a you know eight guys on one side of our punt coverage and our punt team and. And they brought all those guys, and, and he got the ball out in time, and and uh, so he's done some some decent things. But uh, obviously, you know, you don't you don't want him to just do what you're supposed to do, which is get rid of the ball. You know, you want him to do that and beyond. Uh, that's kind of what we're looking for. Wes is Wes has been going through a number of other things that a lot of people don't know about. Um, uh, obviously, that field goal is inexcusable from from our standpoint. Uh, but you know, he's also you know he's 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 been battling some things that, that he's trying to work through and and, uh, and I think I think you know that field goal has really gotten his attention in terms of uh, trying to work himself through those things uh, and uh, I, I think that he you know we're, we're hoping that we'll see last year's West come through I think, and um, you know yeah you should never miss a 23 yard field goal ever 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 you know that's that's the type of thing that you you know that you're supposed to be able to close your eyes and swing and make and, and um, obviously we didn't execute that one and, and uh, it, he actually hit it really good to be honest with you just the, the aim, his aim was off which is not it's very unusual for Wes as you guys know he's done a great job since we've been here so um, uh, I'm, I'm hoping to see him bounce back and, and do a good job uh, because we you know we do have a young kid you know that's behind him that I think that does a pretty good job of kicking kick, kick and field goals too so is it something physical he's working through or something like that? Well, you know, everything is physical or mental, right? So, I mean, there's only two choices. <laughs> so he's either working through something physical or he's working through something mental. But he's working through it, and, and, and we'll be uh, we'll, we'll be getting him, we'll, we'll be hopefully getting him, getting him back to old form here really quick. No, honestly, I, I was I was just telling Philip this. Normally, when I watch a game in person and then I come back and, and watch it on tape, if I if I thought we didn't play very good, it's usually not quite as bad as I thought. If I thought we played really well, it's usually not quite as good as I thought. It's usually somewhere in between. But the last two weeks have been the opposite of that. Seeing the Clemson game in person, I knew we didn't play real well. But when I watched it on film, it was even worse than I thought. 
the South Carolina game, I knew we did a good job or we, we wouldn't have been able to do some of the things that we did. But when I went back and really looked at it in detail and saw how hard the guys actually played and how physical they were, I was even more impressed. So really, really pleased with their effort. And the challenge to them now is can we go out and, and build on that and do it again rather than it being a momentary uh, <laughs> it's been, if you put it if you put it down on something you've written, it plays the recording from when you wrote it. So I'm still. Did that ever get you in trouble? Yes, just then actually. <laughs> <laughs>